What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking you guys for a spin in the front seat of my day-to-day -day life working as a travel fishing videographer. This is a pretty unique job that allows me to visit and experience some pretty incredible fishing destinations. So here's my perspective of that on a recent trip to Belize. As well, if you're new to this channel, my name's Dan Favato. I'm a fishing guide, gone videographer and editor in the travel fishing space. I also have an Instagram fly inspired where you can see more of my day-to-day -day life so go check that out if you want to see some cool clips and pics hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think of the video what's going on guys welcome back to another video we are going on a cool little trip here by fishing international has sent me on another mission this time to belize Pretty excited for it. It's the first time I'll be traveling out of the country. Uh, for the first time in two years, I think the last time I traveled out of country was March of 2019, I believe. No, March of 2020. I actually traveled to Honduras and it's my first shoot out of country. It's the first time in almost two years. So it's gonna be a bit of a process getting all my nasal violations done <laughs> promptly. So I'm gonna do some running around today. It's Monday right now, I fly out on Wednesday and I'm just finishing up a couple other edits that uh, I'd like to get done before I go. And yeah, might even sneak in a little fishing day. So it's gonna be a pretty spread out video for the next two to two, three days. And then we'll, we'll jump right into the exciting parts of this trip. So yeah, stick with it. violations complete onto the packing okay we're back in the office space and the packing has kind of already commenced over the past couple days just kind of organizing all the filters camera gear batteries chargers all the goodies i've already test packed the bag once got the gimbal drone some clothes i'm gonna unpack it set it all there and repack it this is kind of the process that comes with getting ready for these shoots i try to kind of pack pretty efficiently so it's kind of a, a game of tetris which i'm not great at but usually i'm i'm able to jam it all in pretty well so <laughs> okay bags are roughly packed there's a few more components that i need to add but we're just charged some batteries i think we're good we're good there i want to dive in here I have one more little window to do some steelhead fishing before I leave for Belize. And then once I leave for Belize, it's pretty much a wrap on my steelhead season for the fall and early winter anyways. So we're gonna try to squeak out one more run tomorrow. Since we're all packed, I've got some free time to just breathe and see if I can connect with one more. I had a bit of a tough steelhead season this year. So, you know, if I can squeak one more grab before the season wraps, I'd be very stoked. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Spin up a couple of flies, have some dinner, settle in, get my gear for tomorrow ready to go and see if we can squeak in a quick steelhead before Belize. I got two little flies tied up. Went with Old Faithful, the old egg suck and leech, and black and purple, two fly. Ooh. I'm on. I'm on. Oh my God, it's a unit too. <laughs> it's a unit. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Oh, that was good. Steelhead is secured. Yeah, that felt really good, so yeah. Almost there, one more day. About uh, exactly 24 hours, I will be on a plane heading to Belize, so. So we got to our hotel that was conveniently placed just walking distance away from a juicy dock with a bunch of snook hiding in the shadows and a tide that was just starting to roll in. Dude, you gotta do this. Oh, that's a tanker right there. Dude, that is a big one right there. Oh. As well, meet Greg Thomas. He's a diehard fly angler, photographer, and writer. He's also program director and editor-in-chief at Fly Fishing International. He's on a 
Did you see that? Yeah, that's the danger. Yeah, that's the oh god, there's the tarpon. Is that the tarpon? Oh my god, it is the tarpon too. He's coming. He's coming. He missed it. Dude. He's trying Dude, he just to eat ate it. it. He's trying to eat it and he keeps missing it. Holy shit. He took three eats on it. He, can, he missed it. Three <laughs> he, he kept going up. He's like the blindest harpoon you ever see in your life. We'll take the big one at back. Oh. Yep. Come on. Oh. They're coming. Coming. Come on. They're eating on that, they're coming on that shrimp, you know, but. He's like literally eating his leftovers. Come on. Oh my God, oh my God, you it. I felt it too, he nicked it. Again. He, 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 he can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> made it finally made it to blue horizons lodge we're right on the water cabins right there it's been a few years since we've been able to travel out of the country but uh, it sure feels good to be back out on the road shooting with uh, fly fishing international we're down here in belize at blue horizons lodge and we're in hot pursuit of some some permit on the fly yeah i think we should have a good little go we had a good session yesterday coming into the first hotel before we got to the lodge so i'm actually really excited to see what we can uh, get ourselves into this week we've got four days at this lodge and then we go further south to another operation garbits i believe it is and then as well we'll go check out copal tree lodge which is an absolutely spectacular lodge pretty much smack dab right in the jungle in the mountains so I am beyond excited to show you guys what this place looks like. So let's jump into some drone footage and some B-roll to check this place out. Just gonna leave the main lodge right now and jump over to Thatch Key Resort, do some footage of that place, and uh, and then we'll jump back and close out the day. Not gonna be much fishing today, but tomorrow is gonna be our big heavy day, and then onward. So you're all good. Yeah. Okay.
that's gonna hit too hard, I think. There's this waffle thing. Yeah, that's that other like foam one, kind of like this one. This one, but that could be interesting. Okay, these are all good. Quick pit stop for today's video sponsor. Jumping right into it, uh, Fly Fishing International has also created a awesome magazine called FFI Magazine. FFI is your home for the best worldwide fishing entertainment provided by the most creative men and women in our sport. So go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below and you guys can go take a read. By the way, it's also a totally free magazine. No hidden fees, no catches, just free awesome fly fishing content. So I'll leave a link in the description down below. You guys can go and check it out and let's get back into the video. 5.22 in the morning. Their coffee starts at 5.15. It's uh, permit fishing, man. Everyone's ready to go and it's an early morning game. You want to be out on the water first light. Sounds like it's still a little bit rolly out there. The wind's been blowing still over through the night. So breakfast at 5.30. 6.30 departure on the boat and we'll uh, we'll get at it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, okay, careful. Unfortunately, day one was pretty rough. We had some pretty rough overcast skies, a couple of storm cells, and the wind was definitely not on our side. But we still grinded it out. We made it through three quarters of the day and tails started poking up, which was pretty sweet. We saw a couple of packs of two and three, and I think one or two singles. Um, this was the most I've ever seen permits showing their tails, so it's pretty cool to see that, especially during a shoulder season like we had this trip. Feet? 25 feet, not even. Dude, straight in front of you, facing left to uh. Right there, yeah. Oh shit. Dom's last second. Yeah, they saw it too calm. I saw the line coming. Did they spook? Yeah. Like that would have helped. Like, they're this side of the They saw the line coming. They spooked. God damn it. Oh my, my god. god. Ah, yay, 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 yay. Okay, ready? Yep. Right side of the A little short. Pushing to the right. Shot, bad shot. Uh, wait a little and see. 
Okay, I'm cool. sleeping right over there. Cool. Thanks, Ivan. All right. Good, good try. Good try. Yeah, that's what I'm fishing. Right <laughs> give, yeah, give her right. just as much tomorrow. That's it. Well, day one of fishing is in the books. We managed to see seven fish, had two or three good shots at them. So yeah, we're, we're getting closer. I think uh, Greg's got a good idea of what he wants to get done with, uh, with these permit tomorrow. So we're gonna see if we can pull it off and get our first permit to the boat. Like I said, we got three good shots today. So hopefully tomorrow's a different program. We had a lot of storm fronts, a lot of overclass. That's what we were dealing with a lot of today. Just like crazy storm fronts. So see if we can make it happen here tomorrow. Jump in, have some dinner, and yeah, catch you guys tomorrow. I think it's gonna rain. It's coming down. Day two here, we are gonna start our day off with some tarpon. It is super, super overcast today. A lot of storm fronts rolling through, so our window of opportunity for permit might be pretty narrow today, but uh, there is some tarpon jumping out front that we can possibly play with, and a few other options that we can, you know, dangle around. So we'll see what we can, uh, see what we can figure out today. Let's see if we can go get them. This would turn out to be pretty dark in the water. That, that's a nice one. Let yeah. me put that spot on. Yeah. Just a little tier, more tier one, one o'clock, 12.30. The line of, you see it right there? looked at the fly. Our third day of fishing was met with slightly better conditions. We were definitely going to face more overcast skies, but the harsh storm cells seemed to have dissipated. Unfortunately, our guide Ivan wasn't able to guide us for our third day, so we were given a protege of his, Kevon. Kevon has guided a few times already, but has yet to land a permit on his boat, so the pressure is really on for Greg and Kevin.
I'm gonna try to pull him, I can tail him, I can tail him. Yeah, man. Thank you. you guys off with I have a welcome tunnel here to Greg and then this is one for Dan and of course you guys will be staying in one of the gorgeous canopy suites they come with very very panoramic views and of course the family villa over in this corner completes the 70 all right yeah I'm serious it's all for you man can you take it off right now we don't have food towels for you there what, oh, what is it food towels sweet yeah well we spent another three days fishing in Punta Gorda where we got to experience the Copal Tree Lodge, an eco lodge in the middle of the Belizean rainforest. We also got to spend some time at Garbage Fishing Lodge, a place that holds years and years of permit fishing history. So unfortunately, we didn't get any more permit on deck, but we did capture some pretty awesome scenes in our pursuit in the south. For one, I had always heard rumors of permit following rays but never saw it firsthand until our last day anyways. Or how about seeing a pack of permit working a deeper flat? I never thought I'd geek out for a permit so hard, but after seeing countless tales and flats that dreams are made of, 
I think it's safe to say that Permit have officially earned their way onto the bucket list. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into my life behind the scenes as a videographer on these travel expeditions. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll catch you in the next clip. Take it easy.